the Georgia High School Association is a voluntary nonprofit organization composed of over 450 public and private schools. The GHSA administers regulations for region and state competition in 16 sports and two activities. Founded in 1908, the GHSA strives to promote good sportsmanship, participate safety, and fair play among its member schools. For more information, visit ghsa.net. Follow GHSA on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at official GHSA. The Georgia High School Association would like to thank its corporate partners for their support of high school athletics and activities. Georgia Farm Bureau Insurance, Georgia Electric Membership Corporation, Technical College System of Georgia, Gatorade, Wilson, Easy Go, Mizuno, Sport Medicine South, U.S. Army, Regents Bank, and Georgia Army National Guard. It's Rothbard High School Softball here on WZOT. Brought to you by the Clay Birch BT, Berlin Arnold Construction, the Nathan Bean Agency, Culver Exterminating, Precious Pauls, Croker's Hardware, Pascal's Lawn Care, Merle Norman Cosmetics and Boutique, and Dean Presley Florida. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. We're up in Lumpton County and uh, getting ready to play our first round of state playoffs for the girls' softball in Rockmart. I'm Robert Torline, along with Chris Wolf here, going to call the doubleheader today. Hopefully, Chris, we can win in two and go to the house. Yeah, that's what we're looking here. Uh, you know, made the long two-hour drive up here through the mountains and over the mountains and, and through the mountains and through the mountains again, but we're here. Uh, hope, hopefully, we're coming in loud and clear. Very nice field here. I'm very impressed with the facility here at Lumpkin County High School. Yeah, the grass is like carpet. I mean, it's it's very nice. The field is, is nice, like you said. And, you know, you look out throughout everywhere, and it's green and red foliage, and the yeah. fall is here, up here in the mountains, and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. May, uh may get cool here for that second game. I noticed it dropped about, about four degrees from the time we left the house to the time we got here, so... Yeah, but uh, the girls, they they got they had a nice meal somewhere and kind of came here, and now they're warming up, and uh, umpires are fixing to have a coaches' meeting, and we'll get started here in about six or seven minutes. But, Chris, tell us kind of a little bit how we got here. Well, we uh, had our region tournament, of course, last week. Um, we we had to play in the three, four, five, and six. So we, we got the three seed, which whereas Cahula Creek and Sonorville, they are already locked up the one and two seed from – from uh, you know the the region play, so uh, you know we had we had the playoff game against uh, Ringo last week as well to determine the three and four seed after we beat a Daresville, which was a six seed. So I guess I should back up there. We played a Daresville first. It took us three games, but we got it done. So uh, Ringo got the four. So that uh, ended up in our region with Cahula Creek, Sonoval, Rockmart, and Ringo in that order. Well, the great thing about our region. Our, our region is a very strong region. So, I mean, uh, you know, Ringo won last year the state championship. And, you know, it's anybody's game. Our girls have, have come along here lately. I know, I think I saw where they've won 12 of their last 14 games. Yep. But, but, but uh, so has uh, Lumpkin County. They've won 12 of their last 14. Well, you know, you know as well as I do, once you make it to this point, you can throw all the records out the window. That's correct. Uh, it all comes down to execution today and, you know, you live and, and die by each game. You know, and, and, and if we can get that inside strike, and you know, since we'll be batting first the first game, if we can get teams to lead off and get on and get down to second and get a run in, that would be huge for us starting off. Uh, that's very important in these games. As you see, the Braves went up 3-1. We don't want to talk about that. But here, these girls know what they have to do. Coach Luke and the coaches right. have them ready to go, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll show it on the field. Yep, and, uh, you know, I know we did a little scouting last week, and I'm not sure if them or Gilmer was at our game against Ringo. Somebody was there. So even though we hadn't met on the field, uh, I'm sure these two coaches are very familiar with each other's team by this point. Most definitely, and like you said, it is. I would say you still have time to get here, but you don't nope, for the first game. Maybe the second game, but not the first one. If you hadn't left yet, you might as well plan on seeing number two. That's right, but it, it just listen to us here on the radio and uh, – it's going to be a great afternoon of softball and uh, two very good teams. Um, you can't go by the second and third seed because, you know. Like you said, Ringo won it last year out of the four seed. They went all the way and won the state championship. So you can throw all those seeds out the window. Yep. So, and, and we'll talk more about later after this first game, what's going on. But we got to get through this first game first. So 
uh, you know, our starting, starting lineup, has it changed much? You, I'm not going to go over it yet, but has it stayed about the same? Or yeah, it, it's, uh, okay? it's pretty much the same uh, as it's pretty much been for the last 10 or 12 games. You know, every now and then he'll he'll put in a different DP and flex, but looks like we're going with a straight nine today and no DP, no flex. And want to thank all of our sponsors for bringing us all the way here so we can carry the game for you. It's very important. These girls... They have earned the right to be on the radio uh, this year because they've played very hard, and, 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 and so has all of our sports. But I'll tell you, you know, softball has always been pretty yeah, good. Yeah, they, they've definitely been good. You know, Coach Luke has done a phenomenal job over the years uh, building this program and maintaining the program. And that, that's, that's the, the big thing is maintaining. You, you can build a program usually for a few years, but to maintain it year after year after year, especially – a year after this year with everything that's happened and, you know, replacing seven seniors, 12 players total. I mean, we're playing more freshmen. I've been with this program for, for many years, and we're playing more freshmen this year than I ever remember playing ever. And what's what's neat about that is they're ready to play. It's not like we're just having to throw them in there. Yep, they're, uh, they're, they're not missing a step. You know, we're 20, what, 27 games in, mm-hmm. something like that, and – uh you know, they've got, got plenty of experience, but they don't have this experience. Right. That's the only thing. They right. don't have this experience. It's going to lean on the older girls to, 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 to bring them, them up along. Yep. and uh, say, hey, let's have some fun here. And, uh, you know, because they have this to look forward to for, you know, three more years, but these seniors don't. We they got to win it for them. So um, very exciting today, and the umpires are just about done meeting. So we're going to send it back to the station. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're – uh, pre-game is going to be, if it's going to be, call out the names and do the, uh, I'm sure, national anthem. So we'll just yeah. have to see. Looks like they're giving it away to their upstairs. So you're, yeah. we're going to send it back to Brian, and we'll be back after the national anthem for the first pitch. Hey, friends, Jeff Bailey here with Dave's Pre-Owned Supercenter in Rockmark. Make sure the next time you're in the market for a car, truck, or SUV, you take the short drive over to Little Old Rockmart and find out what the buzz is all about. You'll be glad you did, and so will your wallet. So come on by and meet our friendly staff, and we'll have you busting bugs in no time. So what are you waiting for? Just give us a call at 770-684-7400 or check us out at daysrockmart.com. And remember, like we always say, today is the day. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. In Rockmart, call Allstate agent John Purser today at 770-684-1328. Forty-one thousand four hundred and seventy-five residents of Polk County, Georgia. Approximately twenty-five thousand registered voters in Polk County. One chance to help change Polk County. My name is Jody Bentley Smith, and I am running for Polk County Commissioner, District Two. As a lifelong resident of Polk County, I am proud to say that I have a small business here. And along with my husband Donnie, we are raising fifth-generation cattle farmers. Please allow me to be your voice for not only District 2, but for all of Polk County by voting for me, Jody Bentley Smith, on November 3rd, 2020. This has been a paid political announcement paid for by the candidate. At Family Savings Credit Union, we understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Need a loan? Just fill out an online application and get back to the game without missing a minute of action. We know what matters to you because we're a family. We understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Go to FamilySavingsCU.com, call, or stop by any Family Savings Credit Union location to get started today. Federally insured by NCUA, Equal Opportunity Lender. Whether you are a builder, renovator, or homeowner, you want to be offered and educated with the latest codes and innovations for keeping your home more efficient. TNT Insulation can blow you away with dynamite service and dynamite prices. Call today at 770-684-1887 or go see them at 562 P. Ridge Road in Rockmark.
So I stopped in at Chick-fil-A for lunch and saw Officer Wilson come in. I decided to place a dine-in mobile order and have a cookie delivered to him just to show appreciation for his service for our community. A few minutes later, I noticed that Officer Wilson had gotten up and left, and I knew he hadn't gotten his cookie yet. And I'm headed to my car. I turn around and I see Allie, and she's running after me. Mr. Police Officer, Mr. Police Officer. <laughs> Usually when someone yells, Officer, Officer, they want to ask me about a ticket they got. I absolutely wanted the cookie. <laughs> This cookie is delicious. <laughs> Tilly's Home Furnishings at 966 Cedartown Highway has new shipments arriving daily. Tilly's Home Furnishings has been navigating through the coronavirus by offering online shopping on their new website, Tilly'sHomeFurnishings.com. Or come by and shop from our 42-inch digital catalog in our showroom. Don't be silly. Call Tilly's at... 770-684-5314. Come see us, Astro Scooter. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. By Low True Value, 308 Nathan Dean Parkway in Rock Mart invites you to come by and watch the inventory grow every day. We're the home of the Garrett Brothers Saw Mill. Our family has been processing and selling our country's greatest renewable resources for over 100 years. Like us on Facebook or give us a call at 770-684-5075. Silver Comet Furniture, your one-stop shop for all your furniture and bedding needs. We carry brands such as Ashley, Catnapper, Liberty, and Jameson Mattress Company. That's Silver Comet Furniture, 678-685-4320, 2000 Cedartown Highway in Fish Creek. All right, we're back here in Lumpkin County where the Lady Indians are taking on our Lady Yellow Jackets. And uh, the National Anthem is now over, and they're going to start their warm-up pitching. And, Chris, I'm ready. You ready? Yep, let me run down this uh, starting lineup real quick. Batting first, center field, Lexus Teams. Batting second is shortstop, Gracie Arnold. Batting third, playing third base, Sam Wolf. Batting fourth, in the circle, Emily Register. Batting fifth, right field, Megan Johnson. Batting sixth at first base, Sarah Beth Frazier. Batting seventh at second base, Maddie Owens. In left field, batting eighth, Anna Lee Morris. And doing the catching duties as always, Zori Williams, batting ninth. Like I said, we got to get started off early here, and uh, we need to get the teams on quickly and uh, see if we can't score a run or two or four. So uh, the lady... Indians, as Lumpkin County is, is their pitcher is Emmy Graham. Um, their catcher is number 17, Natalie Schubert. So uh, definitely didn't look like the fastest pitching we faced this year, but sometimes we struggled with the slower pitching. So Correct. We'll, we'll see what happens here as teams take the batters. I know you're, you're probably a lot like me. Anytime you're in a state playoff game, Man, the, the hair, the little bit of hair in the back of my neck, because oh, I ain't got much hair. It just stands straight up, and it's so exciting. National Anthem, man, I had cold chills yep. going up and down. So, All right, so here comes the first pitch. Takes her sign. And high, ball one. Good job right there by teams of recognizing that pitch out of the hand was going to be nowhere near. I'm going to ask you about her pitching right here. I don't think she follows us. So, nope, there's no pause whatsoever. So, that's ball two. That's a little high. That, uh, no. But that's something that Coach Luke have to deal with. <clears throat> well, the umpire, evidently, they're either used to it or. But you're right. I mean, she goes quick. Ball three high. Don't think we'll see a swing here. So, we're going to get her down there. I wouldn't think so with the lead off and hadn't seen a strike yet. So. All right, so 3 0, just getting started here. Teams is at the plate. Pitch is low in the dirt. Ball four. And she's going to hustle down there. That's going to be a totally bronze ball four. And we're going to get a totally bronze out here this afternoon because it's beautiful out here. Definitely. I'll get my farmer's stand going. 
That's going to bring up Gracie Arnold. I'd like to thank uh, Lewis Motors for sponsoring the strikeouts, Totally Bronze for our walks, and Sherman Ross State Farm for our home run. And the pitch is ready. Here's the pitch. She squares the ball. Oh, to the backstop. There goes Team. She's going to round second, but stay there. So that's going to be a ball. That's five balls in a row. That one wasn't even close. I think they were trying to throw high so she had a chance to throw around, but that wasn't yeah. going to happen. Yeah, without a doubt. So now we've got a runner in score position, second base, nobody out. One ball. And the pitch, she squares the bunt. Still high, gets behind the catcher again. Teams is going to third. Six balls in a row. So now she don't have to square and bunt anymore. She can just hit away if it gets close. Yeah. I'd make her throw a pitch first. She's got to throw a strike before we, we move the bat. So the pitcher's ready. Toes the rubber. Still does not come set. But first strike on the inside corner. I don't want to keep beating a dead horse, but I sure would love to come see her come set. Yeah, without a doubt. That's quick. So two balls, one strike. Here's a pitch high. Ball three. So out of uh, four pitches, you only had one strike so far. So I think I'd let her throw one more right here, unless it's the one you want. Got to be the money maker. Here's the pitch. It's high ball four. Arnold's going to go down to first base, so. Nine to one ratio on balls. That's uh, I think we need to keep that going. So now we got a runner at first and third. Nobody out. Sam Wolf steps up to the plate. Now up to third base with number 16, Sam Wolf. So they're giving the catchers giving the signs on what to do if she steals. Yeah, got the runner on first and third, so. They're trying to set up a maybe a special play here, but I'm pretty sure they don't know about teams' of speed there at third. I wouldn't do too much with it. See him throwing right back to the pitcher, but here's the pitch. Runner's going. They throw to second, and they call her out. Nice throw by the catcher. Slid right into it. Yep, she was thrown out at second. Caught stealing was uh, it's actually a very good throw. It was right there on yep. the spot. So that's going to be one out. Wolf batter, one ball, no strikes. Teams on third, no no score. And now she pitch. Ball hit the right field. It's going to get down and fair. Just on the line. So that's going to be a RBI single by Wolf. I mean, that couldn't have been any closer. That was perfect. That was a very nice hit. So... I don't know who that fan was that was yelling that, but, uh, you know, it's all good. All right, so Wolf's at first. We got one run in. One to nothing. Lombard leads with one out. And Emily Register steps up to the plate, trying to help herself out right here. That's ball high inside. Yeah, she's uh, she's having a rough time finding the strike zone right now. That was me. That was just a little inside I'm joke there between me and, uh, me and Sam. So I know. I had to, had to get that out there to her. <laughs> Here's the pitch. High. She hits it, though. Straight to center field. It's going to get down. And that's going to be a base hit. Tomahawk, did that you one, notice that center field did not run very fast? No, so I'm didn't. thinking she's not quick out there. No, and uh, teams just, uh, I'm sorry, register reached up and Tomahawk. She that sure one. did. That was a ball, too. And basically drilled it to center field. It, it had the right spin because <laughs> it had that top spin on it. So it got to the outfield and it just died. So that's going to. Bring in Kylie Bowman to run for uh, register as the courtesy run. Well, there you go. So now it's just one out. We got one run in, a runner at first and second for Johnson. And I'm going to tell you something. This, this young lady is special. I want to see her just make great contact and see what happens to it. She had her a good deep ball the other night. Uh, last game, I believe it was. Everybody hits. Everybody scores. Here's the pitch. Right down the middle, strike one. That's okay because it's only the second strike she's thrown. Looks like she's looks like she's settled in a little bit though. She's may have had a case of the nerves. We'll see. Yeah. And the pitch, high ball two. Don't turn your head there, Sam. Out there, They're, they might throw it back at you. <laughs> so one ball, one strike, one out. 
top of the first. Rob Martin leads one to nothing if you're just now joining us. Runners at first and second. Here's the pitch. Hit ball out the middle. Base hit. Gonna, coach is going to send her and then hold her and send her back to third. So we'll, we got bases loaded. Nice base hit by Johnson. Just made contact. That's all you got to do. Chris. Put it right back where it came from, right back up the middle. That's going to bring up our first baseman, Sarah Beth Frazier. Uh, some bases loaded here, and, you know, we just need a ball to the outfield at the very least. Correct. Something to get a uh, wolf home. And here comes the pitch. Ball jams her right back at the pitcher. She's going to catch it for round number two. It was a good pitch. She just got a two inside and jammed her. Yeah, popped it right back up to the pitcher. There's so unfortunate there for Frazier. That's going to bring up number eight, our second baseman, Matty Owens. Just want to see her put it in play somewhere here and score another run, of one or two runs. Yeah, base is loaded two outs. We don't want to strand, strand them all here. The pitch, that's going to be high and outside, ball one. Just got to be patient with this pitcher. Can't really can't really jump on that, that first pitch. We got to be patient. She's, yeah. uh, She's having a rough time. Mm-hmm. So one ball, no strikes. Here's the pitch. It's low, ball two. A walk's as good as a hit right here. It scores that'll, a run. That'll bring in Wolf. She, she won't even have to show her speed. <laughs> that's, that's probably a good thing. 2-0. And the pitch. High ball three. Well, we're taking all the way right here. Yeah. I think we'll see a trip to the mound after this. Problem is we don't have any of that music we have back home. Yeah. Don't have Drew. No. Giving them the, the good stuff. Here comes 3-0. Called strike inside corner right at the knees. That's not one she wanted to hit. That's now, good. Even even at 3-1, that's right. probably not a pitch we're swinging at. <clears throat> no, no. Got to be something we can drive still. Ball four. That's going to bring an RBI in base uh, ball. I mean, base on balls. That's a totally bronze base on balls for Owens. We talked about freshmen earlier. Here's one right now, left-handed Morris. Yeah, she's a great utility player. I, I really like to watch her go after it. So two outs, bases loaded, 2 nothing. rock mark. Called strike right on the outside corner. I'd take that one, too. That was. Now she's ready to go. Well, we've got to be patient. Like I said, we, you know, when pitch are struggling, we can't just jump on that, that first pitch. And the pitch, inside, ball. A little bit more in, and she'd have been in walking home, too. Yeah. Wind's picked up a little bit. Yeah, here a little bit of that breeze. One more. Two out. Two nothing. Lay Jackets lead. Top of the first. Ball hit hard. It's a base hit. Going to get down into right field. That scores one. That's all. We're just, just base hitting to death right now. That's all we got to do, Chris. Yep. I mean, that's. One base at a time, throw line. You know, you know, take one and pass it back, as we used to say. Yep. And right now, that's what they're doing. Three nothing. Said that one might have four runs this first inning. I, three's great, but I'd love to have a couple more right now. Just keep hitting it solid. It's our catcher, right? Yes, Zori Williams is the batter. We're, we're at the ninth batter here, about to move back to the top. So, if you're keeping a paper book, it might get messed up here in a second. Yeah. In a pitch. Call strike inside corner. I think he gave that to her because she needed some help there. If you've ever kept a paper book, you know what I'm talking about. I do. You have to start scratching out the innings at the top of every inning, which I don't mind if we mess it up. That's exactly right. I'd mess up two innings if you want to. Right. So here's Williams, 101, sorry. There's the pitch. That's a uh, changeup. Change up right there for the first time, Robert. Yeah, and she uh, fouled it off down left field line. She was way ahead of that one. That looked that, I mean, you saw it, but uh, to my knowledge, that's the first one she's thrown. That is. I, I, I don't know if all the other balls that are missing high are rise balls. I, if it is, she's not really showcasing it. Usually they'll dip that shoulder, and you can you can see that uh, dip. But right, that got, was definitely a change up. We got 0-2 right now. Here's the pitch. Ball hit hard, but foul down third baseline. Yeah, uh, Johnson needs to get a little more inside the bag, inside the line there. Yeah. 
you know, she gets hit right there and she's out. Still 0-2, so she's going to fight off if she gets the pitch she wants. And I, I don't think the umpire would have any problem calling her out if it's close, so you're going to have to foul it off so you get the one you want. That's right. So 0-2, pitcher's ready. Here's the pitch. That's a rise ball that kept rising, uh, and now it came down. Uh, ball one. That's where you got to get a good secondary lead right there in third base. Yeah, the you get fire. You got to be home. Cause we've seen a few already get to the backstop. Of course, not a not a whole lot of real estate behind catch. No. All right, here's the pitch. Change up, foul down left field again. She's way ahead. That's okay. She's putting the bat on the ball. So one ball, two strikes to Williams. Lady Jackets up three to nothing here. Still in the top of the first. It's a beautiful thing. Steps back in. Still Carson. one, two. Play ball, so pitcher's taking their signs from the dugout. And here comes the pitch. That's hit up towards second. That pitcher's got it. She snagged it and threw her out for out number three. But not before the Lady Yellow Jackets get three to put on the board. We're going to the bottom of the first. We'll be right back. Hi, folks. This is your old buddy, Bill Sherps, the GM of All-Star Motors Rock Mart. The friendly staff at All-Star is ready and willing to serve you. Good, bad, or even no credit, no problem. Your job is your credit. We do offer guaranteed credit approval. Check out our online credit approval at www.allstarmotorco.com. We even have an on-site insurance agent. We're not just your run-of-the-mill fly-by-night dealership. We're All-Star Motors, where every day is an all-star day. Remember, we have that unforgettable number, 770-684-CARS. At Century Bank of Georgia's Rock Mart office, you'll find the reassuring blend of responsive personal service with a wide array of accounts, technologies, loans, and more. And you'll find each delivered by a bank professional whose goal is to exceed your expectations of what a bank can be. We invite you to discover all we are today. Your local choice for community banking. Go Jackets. Century Bank of Georgia. Rock Mart. We want to be your bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. For the Lady Jackets softball game here in Lumpkin County against the Lady Indians, Lockmark takes a quick 3 to nothing lead going into the bottom of the first. And, and Chris, that's exactly how we want to get started. Oh, without a doubt. Uh, I'll run down this real quick for the uh, Lumpkin County Lady Tigers. Haley Sparks, Lauren English, Emma Johnson, Amy Graham, Haley Voyles, Natalie Schubert, Alyssa Pulley, Grace Jones, Brooke Temples, and the Flex Kelsey Marshall. So, Lead-off batter here is Haley Sparks, so she looks to me like a slapper. She's a left-handed batter, and here comes the pitch. She slapped A little bit outside. And when you say slapping, you mean she's going after it and running as she's yep, trying to hit it. She's starting up, starting back of the batter's box, and she's going to make forward motion to the ball. A little bit outside again. And swing while she's in motion to be able to quickly take off the first base. Three-run lead. We just need to go ahead and hit the ball right now. I mean, go ahead and pitch the ball. Let him hit it. That's called on the outside corner. Beautiful pitch. Not sure where that one was in relation to the last pitch. That was a little bit closer. Well, it was. I have to agree with that. you got a better angle than yeah. I do. Two balls, one strike. Fouled straight back. She had a very good cut at that hard fastball. So now she caught back at 2-2. Now she just can come back and hum it right through. Run right past her here. Come on, kid. Takes her sign. Here's the pitch. She slaps it into our dugout, and then out of our dugout. Way late on that one. Yeah, got to be careful here on the left-hand side with uh, Wolf and Arnold. I'm, I'm assuming she's probably got pretty decent speed just looking at her. And in the pitch, slaps it right up the middle for a base hit. Not even a chance for teams to get that one because it's too low. And she does have good speed, so definitely going to have to be aware of her on the bases right here. That's going to bring up number 33, the third baseman, Lauren English. I think she was their player of the year for them. English? Yeah. 
This is the field of the year. That is. That's what it said out front. Yeah. Strike one on the outside corner. And I agree with it. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Nice layout here. Got can, the, can we take it home with us? Yeah. Got the uh, central station behind us with the upstairs. And the pitch. Paul inside now, strike two. Now, Robert, that's her pitch. That you, is her You pitch. know if she can get that pitch right there all night, she, she's going to get in there and, and groove. That's where she likes to throw the ball. And here comes the pitch. Right past the third baseman. Just kind of jams her and shoots it right past her. Just a hard line drive. Another base hit. I told you, I heard they were a good hitting team. It was kind of a thud, but it went right past pretty quick. Not sure how deep their hitting goes, but I definitely heard that they had some hitters. Well, neither one of those we could have gotten. So, just like when we were hitting, they couldn't have got ours. So, hopefully we can. we got to figure out that 0-2 pitch to, to get that strikeout. That's what we got to do. Yeah. And here's the pitch. She bunts. Back to the pitcher. Oh, no. She throws it over the first base head. And Don't score one, luckily. Oh. So, that's an error on Emily. So, nobody out. Runners at second and third. The score is three to one. Rockmar leads. And this is going to be their cleanup hitter. And that's going to leave runners on second and third. Here's the pitch. A little bit low inside. So this is their pitcher, Emmy Graham. Nobody out. Runners on second and third. Bottom of the first inning. Call strike right there. It's the numbers on the inside corner. We just got to get an out right now, no matter what. Playing for an out. So one ball, one strike. And here comes the pitch from register. Squares the bunt. Strike two. Yeah, now we got to figure out that finish pitch. What What's working today for Emily that, that can finish these batters off? I think I'd go low and inside. They can hit it on the ground. Well, here you either go after for the strikeout or you throw something way away knowing she's not. It's a and pitch. Rise ball called strike three on the swing and tip in the glove. And that's what I was yeah. trying to get out that's of my That's where mind. you're going you next. You throw that rise ball and, and get it out of the strike zone and see if she can chase. And that's exactly what happened right there. Yeah. And that's a uh, Lewis Motors strikeout. Thank you to Lewis Motors. Yeah. Located in a new place in town, right down past Dairy Queen. You've got a nice lot down there. So one out. A little bit too far inside, ball one. This is going to be the right fielder, Haley Voyles. Hey, hey. Nice. Steps back in. And here comes the pitch from Register. That's a little bit too far inside again. Just over the shoe tops, too. So, two balls, no strikes with one out. We're in the bottom of the first. Rockmart leads three to one. Still have runners on second and third for the Lady Indians. Because Williams outside. Swings right through that one. So, two balls, one strike. That's a good pitch right there. Williams got way off the plate. And Emily painted the line out there, and batter couldn't resist. Same Good. spot again. Beautiful location. Brings that one inside, though. Swings right above it. So, yeah, it was already set up outside, but the ball came in. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Finish it. There ball, it strike three on the inside corner. Beautiful. Another Lewis Motors rock out right there. That was that beautiful inside pitch right there. But here's the key. You'll never strike out going to Lewis Motors. That's right. You'll always get a good deal there. You are correct. Alright, so we got two outs now in the bottom of the first. Runners the second and third for the Lady Indians. Here comes the pitch. A little bit high. She wanted to see if she'd go after it. She didn't. I know Robert mentioned our sponsors and we surely appreciate it because without them you at home could not be listening to this game two hours away today. No. Ball hit right up the middle to Arnold. Gotta She's come coming up with it quick. Makes the throw out for out number three. So 
just like that, Rockmar holds them to one run. We're going to go to the top of the second. Rockmar leads three to one. We'll be right back. WZOT Rockmar, W270CE Rome. Hello, Jacket Nation. I'm Chris Miller. And I'm Steve Miller. And we are Alvis Miller and Son Funeral Home and Cream Store. Our family has been part of Rockmark since 1954, and we have been serving you at the funeral home since 1981. My dad is a 1971 graduate of Rockmark High School, and I'm a 2005 graduate of Rockmark High School. We are proud supporters of our community and Rockmark High School athletics. From our family to yours, go Jackets. Alvis Miller & Son Funeral Home and Crematory. Rockmark's only locally owned and operated hometown funeral home. Cotton Splinters Marketplace and Christmas Shop is getting geared up. We offer 30 vendors with crafts, antiques, vintage, and home decor items. We are located at 120 South Marble Street in downtown Rockmart, Georgia. We have that perfect gift waiting for you to share with someone. You can reach us at 678-685-4949 or on our Facebook page at Cotton Splinters Marketplace and Christmas Shop. Come and see us. Heading into the top of the second inning, Rotmar leads three to one here in Lumpkin County against the Lady Indians. And uh, boy, we need to get out of that one. They had runners in second and third, and uh, a great job by uh, Arnold there, short to throw out the third down. Yeah, without a doubt, that ball took a high hop. She had to wait on it, but made a good throw. And uh, Frazier over there was able to stretch out there and and catch it at its highest point. So that, that helped us out a little bit. Yeah. I'd like to thank John Purser, Allstate, Day Chevrolet, Family Savings Credit Union, TNT Insulation, and Chick-fil-A. And we're back starting off with number one batter again, like we just getting ready to play. We are right back at the top of the lineup with the Lexus teams, Grace Arnold and Sam Wolf as the first three batters. Leading off the top of the second, number nine, Alexis. All right, so the pitcher's taking their signs now. We're at Empire says play ball. Now we're ready to go. And the pitch, going to hit towards second. That's the worst place she could hit it. It's got her by one step. But it's going to be one out. It was a good swing on the ball. It just went right out the second baseman and hard enough she could throw her out. Yeah. She just didn't get to pull it as quite as much as she needed to to, to get it between the uh, first and second baseman over there. And I think that's what she was attempting to do was to pull it in the hole. Yeah. It just didn't quite get around enough. And that was a good pitch, too, so we're not waiting right now. She throws a good pitch, and we're going to hit it. Arnold's up. That's a high ball, ball one. Yeah, and I have mixed feelings about that, honestly. Make uh, her throw more pitches. Yeah. But, hey. After the first inning, I'm, I'm not sure we, we don't need to be at least taking – at least these first couple of batters, see what she looks like this in. First pitch was the Arnold was a ball. Ball hit hard. It's going, it's going out of here. That's gone. That's going to be Arnold's home run. That's going to be a Sherman Ross State Farm home run. That was off the bat gone. I mean, it was probably 30 feet past the fence. That was another uh, high pitch. She tomahawked over the fence right there. Yeah, that would have been nice to have teams on there. But you know what? That's okay. That's one more run. So it's 4-1, to one, Rockmart leads. And, and now you know the ball does carry. It does, and uh, up here in this mountain air. But uh, I was really surprised to see her swing at that pitch because it was, it was up there in the strike zone, but she got every piece of it. She must have really wanted that one. <laughs> That's going to bring up Samantha Wolf. So one out, four to one, Rockmart in the top of the second. Here's the pitch in the dirt, ball one. Just got to make contact like she did last time, and she hit down right field right on the line. It's beautiful. Rockmark got a good crowd here, parents, grandparents mostly. And the pitch in the dirt, ball two. Kind of got the pitcher messed up there a little bit, I believe. That's so. the uh, Darren Johnson's got on his, his uh, buzz ears. Buzz ears over there, his little bee ear. He sure is cute. Nice looking. Change up, call for a strike down yeah. the middle, but that's okay. That wasn't her pitch. No, not not two and zero. Oh and yeah. you know she throws that change up well for a strike. Every time she's thrown, it's been across the plate. We got to sit back and recognize it, load up and drive it. So here's the pitch, high ball three. Uh, that may have been a change up. She just missed one. <laughs> yeah. As usual, they make me look foolish I, over I here. I don't when think I start so. Trying to call the game. I think that was a rise ball, <laughs> and you know it's all good. So three one. 
step out, kid. Pitch. A little bit low, ball four, so that's going to walk Sam Wolf. And here comes the coach to the mound. So we're going to take 30 seconds and be right back. Hey friends, Jeff Bailey here with Dave's Pre-Owned Supercenter in Rockmark. Make sure the next time you're in the market for a car, truck, or SUV, you take the short drive over to Little Old Rockmart and find out what the buzz is all about. You'll be glad you did, and so will your wallet. So come on by and meet our friendly staff, and we'll have you busting bugs in no time. So what are you waiting for? Just give us a call at 770-684-7400 or check us out at daysrockmart.com. And remember, like we always say, today is the day. All right. Coach is going back to the dugout, and we are talking about on the way up here all the strip malls we had, and I'd love to get some tennis shoes at some oh, of those yeah. Nikes. And I think there's a restaurant they were talking about as well. That was a in a long good restaurant, mall. yeah. yeah. But okay, so now we're ready to go. Register steps back in. She shows bunt, but I seriously doubt it. She pulls it back. It's going to be ball. It's going to be high. So uh, a little different sitting here. We're we're close quarters with, with our fans. Is we're sitting at the bottom of the bleachers here, right behind home plate. Yeah. So all our guys are around us. One ball, no strikes. Here's the pitch. That's too high. It's kind of a changeup. It's rows on it. She's really taking her time in between pitches right now, like she's overthinking out there uh you know you heard me say when sam was at bat she needed to step out pitcher taking too long oh yeah look she's still and the pitch rise ball three so it's three oh i don't think she's swinging here no reason to so i don't think she could throw three i gotta be quiet because <laughs> it's all good your wife's here she'll protect you oh yeah right 3-0 to register. Ball four high. She didn't, didn't tomahawk that one. No. She stayed patient. So we're going to see Bowman come in and uh, run. That's going to be number three, Kylie Bowman. Coming in to run for register. I tell you what, though, Johnson just saw Arnold hit that ball. So That's she knows if she just there. makes contact, that will be okay. So just make contact. That's all you got to do, kid. Yeah, got to. She want to really try power. to hit the ball to the right side as we got runners on first and second. Don't want to, don't want to hit Sam into an out over here at third if we can help it with only one out. Call strike, change up down the middle, or it could be another State Farm. You know that's fine with me. We'll take it. Hit that thing over, make it seven to one. But good contact is what we're looking for right now. <laughs> so no balls, one strike, one out. Runner the first and second, like you said, Chris. And here's the pitch. Ball hit hard. Foul down third base side. While that ball's coming in, I'd like to thank Harrelson Termite and Pest Control, All Star Motors, Buy Low True Value Hardware, Century Bank, Alice Miller, Alvis Miller and Son Funeral Home, Cotton Splinters, Silver Comet Furniture, Tilly's Home Furnishing, and Wings Plus. Yeah, we definitely appreciate all y'all for letting us come here. You got more to mention as we. Get time here. Oh, uh, no two to Johnson. Here's the pitch. Fouls that one off. First one over the fence behind us here. That was a uh, one of the hardest fastballs I've, I've seen the pitcher throw right there. She really got behind that one. And I think it was going to be a ball, but it was close enough she had to swing at that thing. Yeah, protecting the plate right now. Don't, don't want to let the umpire make that decision. Nope. So still 0-2. Lady Jackets lead 4-1. Bottom, top of the second. Come on, kid. Taking an awful long time, like you said, on the pitching mound. Here's the pitch. Change up. Strike three. Call right down the middle. Just caught her looking. Yeah. I, I think I'm with you, Chris. I think I'd back down. If they're going to take that long, yeah. they're making yeah. the, the batters think. think they're, you know, you're staying in that position that – you know, batter's position for too long. You, your muscles start tensing up. Sure. And uh, they need to step out. So here comes Fraser. I expect to see her look at a pitch this time and not jump on that first one. Here comes the pitch. A little low ball. I hate to say this, but, you know, because it might mess me up, but the umpire's done a great job so far in the falls. Really I, good. I think so both ways. I mean, he's yeah. really got a 
good strike zone, a good feel for the plate. Fouls that one off the fence behind us here. So really going to take a gapper to, to score Wolf as, you know, she's still recovering from hip surgery, so she's not as fast as she has been. So going to take a gapper right here, or we'll just take a single and let Owens do it. This is playoffs, baby. She's fast now. The rise ball that just kept rising for a ball. Yeah, I think uh, Fraser learned a lot from her first at bat. Um, she's definitely trying her best to be patient right here. That that's uh, that last pitch was one that she could have easily went after. Sure. Here's the pitch. Hits the third baseline. She bobbles it, but comes up and then tags the base. So, it's good play by the third baseman. That's going to be the third out. Well, Rotmar does score one, right? No, we didn't score any. Sorry, it's four to one. Rotmar yeah, lead. Yeah, home run. That's right, home run. We'll be right back after that. Four to one lead. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. In Rockmart, call Allstate agent John Purser today at 770-684-1328. Tilly's Home Furnishings at 966 Cedartown Highway has new shipments arriving daily. Tilly's Home Furnishings has been navigating through the coronavirus by offering online shopping on their new website, Tilly'sHomeFurnishings.com. Or come by and shop from our 42-inch digital catalog in our showroom. Don't be silly. Call Tilly's at 770-684-5314. Come see us. Ask for Skater. All right, we're back in Lumpkin County. Going to the bottom of the second. Scores 4-1. to one. Rotmar leads. Here comes the first pitch. A little bit high and outside. The batter for Lumpkin County. The Lady Indians is their first baseman, Alyssa Pulley, with Grace Jones and Brooke Temples to follow. A little pop-up to second base. Nice. Maddie Owens reels it in. One out. This is going to bring up their uh, DP here, Grace Jones. Big kid. Tall. First pitch called strike on the inside corner. Yeah, she's really tall. Man, she is. Tall. Tall enormous. That strike zone's pretty big. And here comes the pitch. Right there, a little bit too far inside, but it was right there at the knees. It was great location. Yeah, it looked like a drop ball that dropped a little late. It, it dropped right behind, as you saw. Tori had to reach down. Like you said, it came across at the knee. Too far inside, ball two. That's all right. That's where she likes. Yep, just probably got to bring it up just a hair there. Look at her toe. Her front it's... foot is almost over the line, almost touching the plate. She hits the ball toward right field. It's going to go foul, but can we catch it? Oh, oh, just nice right off effort. the glove. Oh, she hits the fence, but she's okay. So, nice effort by uh, Fraser out there. She tried to catch it over the shoulder on the run and just bounced right off the glove as she was headed into the fence. To be honest, Julio Jones could have caught that probably. Nobody else could have because yeah. that was right there. Exactly. That was a good play she tried to make. So, two balls, two strikes. I'd stick it inside on her again. Swung strike three. That's going to be a... Lewis Motors strikeout. Um, wow. Just threw it right by her. Going to bring up the center fielder, number 24, Brooke Temples. Now the center fielder, number 24, Temples. Well, quickly here, we have two outs right here in the bottom of the second inning. That ball's a little inside and low. She's not giving them anything to look at right now, but, boy, she's just so close to that strike. Yeah, yeah. We'd like a one, two, three right here. Sure. Get on back in here and hit some more. Swung right through that one on a rise ball. It wasn't really a rise ball, but it was a fastball high. Hard, hard high fastball. I, I agree. 
she came high with the heater. That was nice. One ball, one strike. Ball hit hard right up the middle, base hit. Nothing you can do with that. It was a nice play. Could not throw it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, can't get it back. So that's going to bring us back up to the leadoff. We know these next two hitters both had singles, so um, let's put a shift on. Sparks here is the, the slap hitter and very fast. Going outside with it. Strike. Swung through that. Strike one. I don't think she threw it outside either. I think she just threw it high right down the middle. She got to hit her spot. Uh, yeah, seen her miss a couple of times here early. Here comes the pitch. There it is. Another nice right there across the letters outside. She hit not throwing it low. Yeah, yeah she hit the spot hit there. The spot that, time. that was a beautiful pitch. Man, if you can live there on the left-handed batter, you keep making money. And here comes the pitch. Swung on a miss. Strike three. That's three It's going to be three outs. So that's going to be a Lewis Motors strikeout they again. They had the hit and run on there. But yeah, I it, thought it was. It was a, terminated by the third strike. Exciting. Just do three pitches. Same spot, same results. One, two, three strikes. We'll be right back going to the top of the third. Four to one, Rock Marley. Wings Plus at 808 West Elm Street in Rock Mart offers incredible taste of the South with chicken and waffles, shrimp and grits, gizzards, ribs, and pork chops. We have fish dinners with tilapia, whiting, and that Southern classic catfish. That's Wings Plus at 808 West Elm Street in Rock Mart, located in the old Huddle House location. Call them at 678-685-4880. They're open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day. Wings Plus, come and see what the fuss is about. At Century Bank of Georgia's Rock Mart office, you'll find the reassuring blend of responsive personal service with a wide array of accounts, technologies, loans, and more. And you'll find each delivered by a bank professional whose goal is to exceed your expectations of what a bank can be. We invite you to discover all we are today. Your local choice for community banking. Go Jackets. Century Bank of Georgia. Rock Mart. We want to be your bank. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Going to the third inning, top of the third, Rockmart. Lady Yellow Jackets leading four to one. And uh, let's just see if we can keep putting some more runs on the board. Owens is coming to bat for us right now. Yep. Yeah, Owens, Morris, Williams, Mike Think, Berlin Auto Construction, Clayburg Boutique, Nathan Dean Agency, Culver Exterminating, and Precious Paul. Kroger's Hardware, Pascal's Lawn Care. Man, the pitcher is finally ready. And here we go. Low in the dirt, ball one. A 1 0 to Owens. I think that would work, though. If you start calling time, um, that's going to put more pressure on the pitcher. Yeah. And uh, here comes the pitch. High ball two. If nothing else, Robert, I'd like to see them not. I'd like to just see them at least sitting there with a the bat on their shoulders in a relaxed position yeah. until the pitcher gets ready to pitch. Right. Not so much being in the batter's box, just being all tensed up. Ball hit hard to center field. It's going to get down for a base hit by Owens. There's, there's just, and it's nothing bad, but there's no speed in center field. Uh, not that she probably got it anyway, but if we can get that ball past yeah. or, or in between right or left center. She's not coming hard at all. No. That's going to bring up Morris, Anna Lee Morris, left fielder. She had a base hit her last time up. Hard line drive to right field. Nobody out. Top of the third. And here's the pitch. Squares the bump, pulls back. Ball is high. We already know the catcher's got a good arm, so we'll have to get a good jump. So not a delay you're hearing there. It's just the pitcher taking forever and a day to get the sign and make the pitch. Yeah. Well, the coach is waiting to give her signs, too, so it's taking the coach a long time to give him signs. Squares the bunt, called strike on a high strike, but it was right there at the letter, so that was a good call. One ball, one strike. I think Merle Norman Cosmetics and Boutique. Dean Presley Flooring. Here comes the pitch to Morris. Maybe. Oh, here it comes. That's high. I think they think she's going to steal, so they keep throwing a, a high trying, ball. Trying to get a pitch the catcher can handle and make another good throw. We know she's got an arm, and she threw Arnold out earlier. Yeah. So now we've got two balls and one strike. 
And here comes the pitch. Ball hit hard to left field. Left fielder's coming in. Make, drops it. She drops it. So, and it's going to be safe at second. She tried to make an easy play, and but then didn't put two hands on it, so the ball came out of her glove. So, yeah, I'm not sure if the sun might play a little bit of. No, I'm going to be honest with you. I saw her. I couldn't see. She got a two. Out. She was too lazy on that, and she didn't put two hands on it and just popped yeah. out of her glove. Yeah, I couldn't see it. I, I lose it. But, hey, that's okay. So that's going to bring up our catch is Zori Williams with Owens on second, Morris on first. Nobody out. Time to hit it hard here. She bunts or bunts either way. But hits that one foul. She's trying to bunt that down uh, first baseline and just fouled it off. Had a quick timeout here by Luke. He wants to talk to Zori. So we like to chicken scratch cakes and cupcakes. Steve Kenny, Edward Jones Investments, member of SIPC. As uh, Luke just had a quick note for Williams right there. I know he just told her, said, listen, I'm not asking you to get on. I just want you to bunt it down. Yep. To get out, you'd advance my runners. That's a conversation me and Coach Luke had last week was our execution on bunting and knowing when we're not trying to bunt for a base hit and just trying to move a runner. And there she goes. Good job calling time on that pitcher because he's taking way too long now. Yep, and that's what I like to see. If you're going to stand in there ready to hit, if they take too long, Get your time out from Mr. Umpire. And it's a pitch. He bunts it down. And the run- runners are going to advance. Everybody and safe. she's safe, too. Wow. Well, honestly, Robert, I don't think they had a shot at getting anybody out. The way Zoe bunted that ball, it was kind of a pop. She popped it, it up, backwards. but it had backspin on. So by the time the third baseman got to it, she didn't really have a have a play anywhere. I agree. So now we got bases loaded, nobody out, and guess who's up? Team. Let's see if she can't do something with this ball here, because now she can hit away. So bases loaded for teams. And she's an excellent batter. Nobody out. Jacket threats the pitch. Call strike right down the middle. That's okay. That wasn't the one she wanted. <clears throat> Lady Jack is threatening hard right here in the top of the third inning as we lead four to one. Pitcher comes. No, she don't come set. Now she does. Here's the pitch. It's a high ball. That's two balls. One, one ball. Two. Well, one one. Sit down here a minute. Thank you. <laughs> one one. Yeah, got to do something big right here. Bases loaded, no outs. Make get through the ball here. And here comes the pitch. Ball hit hard, but it's in right field again. Owens it's goes to tag up. Going to be in foul territory, so it gets down. Kind of dropped that shoulder a little bit there and got under that one, but uh... yeah, you expect your uh, senior center fielder right here to to do what she's best at and come through with a good hard line drive right here. She doesn't get to bat really a lot. <laughs> she's Slapping at it and getting on first, but now she's got to hit it. Hit it hard, kid. Here's the pitch. Oh, and outside. Ball two. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out. Top of the third. Rockmart leads four to one. Bases loaded. Pitcher toes the rubber finally. Here's the pitch. Rise ball. Good uh, discipline right there by teams. It's a hard pitch with two strikes and not the chase. So very good discipline right there. Full, full count. Yeah, full count. A walk is as good as a run. So pitchers trying to here comes the pitch. Low and ball four. It's going to walk in RBI walk, and that's going to be a um, totally bronze uh, walk. So that's going to bring up Arnold, who homered her last time at bat with nobody on base. Be interesting to see right here how they pitch her with bases loaded. They better not pitch her a high ball because she's going to hit that one again. Or at least she's going to swing at it. Well, here we go, Arnold. And the pitcher is now ready. Here's the pitch. Called strike right at the knees. Yep, definitely look like they're going to try to keep it down on her this time. They know they made a mistake that last at bat. Oh, yeah. But she has a tendency to throw that changeup high, so we'll see if he goes to changeup here. 
in the pitch. She did, he did throw a change up. Fouled down a play behind us. She kept it, kept it down again. Though. So somebody definitely learned something her last at bat. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that again. So 0 2, nobody out. Lady Jackets lead 5 to 1, top of the third. That's where you just got to stay alive to get the pitch you want. And the pitch. She hits it off the dirt, gets by the shortstop. That's going to score two runs. Wow, I tell you what, that actually hit the ground. Her bat hit the ground and hit the ball, which yeah. is legal, and uh, hits it right past shortstop. So that's two more runs. Seven to one, Rockmart leads. Runners at first and second. Yeah, shortstop tried to make a play on it, diving to her right. And off her glove, just couldn't, couldn't hang on. Listen, we'll take that anytime we can get it. Sam Wolf steps up to the plate now. Here's the pitch. Hit hard to right field. She's going back. She does make the catch. The tag is going to third. So teams is coming to the third. Arnold stays at first. There's just one out. So we're in the same situation we were earlier when you had teams at third and Arnold at first, and Arnold tried to steal and got thrown out. Yep. What's what happens now? So catcher calls her play out what they want to do. I don't think they'll tell a second this time. I think they're going to see what happens with teams. Register has lined for a single and walked. And here's the pitch. A little bit outside. We're grumbling from the crowd. And yeah, they didn't like very that. close. Yeah. So, one ball, no strikes, one out. 7-1, Rockmart leads. Runners at first and third. Here's the pitch. Hits the right field. Get down. Ah, it's caught Here by comes the third base. Here tagging up on the, front, on the foul ball. There goes Arnold, the second. Ball gets out to center field. Here comes Arnold, the third. She's going to go in easily standing up. She tried to fake her out to make her throw to the third so she can go home, but she didn't. So that's another run for Rockmart. Good RBI there. Um, two outs, but eight to one, Rockmart leads in the top of the third. Yeah, luckily that foul ball was deep enough that teams with her speed tagged up, which is something that a lot of times teams miss out on. Not our teams, but yes. teams in general. Most definitely. They miss out on that tag up. And the pitch. A little bit low to Johnson. So now we have two out. And the pitch. Hits the ball hard. It's out of here. That's gone. That's going to be a State Farm home run. She drilled that. I think she hit that farther than Arnold did. Oh, without a doubt. And a uh, beautiful swing came under it. It's going to be 10 to 1, Rockmart lead. And wow, look at that smile on her face. That's when she, she's well deserved. I heard Hyman back here say nobody better, but he says that to everybody. But he was right. She hit that one out of here. Yeah, she left that one on top of the hill up there. That puts the Lady Jackets up 10 to 1 here in the top of the third. So good job right here by the Lady Jackets. All right, so now batting is Sarah Beth Brace. Sarah Beth. Ball high. <laughs> Ball got out of here quick. Yeah, it did. That could have been over a 300-foot fence. It seemed like that thing was deep. Now the pitcher's ready. Here's the pitch. It's a little bit outside. Ball. So two balls. I got three. I got two of them. Yeah, I see. I think it's only two. Here's the pitch. Ball three. Give her the green light. What the heck? She throws it down the middle, let her hit it. She needs she needs some confidence right here. 
And here comes the pitch. Call strike. Right there at the belt. Right down the middle. Yeah, pitcher just did what she had to right there and and uh, just threw a gimme, but had the red light on there for Frazier. That's why I don't coach. That's why I'm back here. And here comes the pitch. Ball hit high up in the air. I got underneath that one. Shortstop, then second. It drops in. Nobody gets it. Shortstop thought second was getting it. Second thought outfield was getting it. And pitcher said, what? And it gets hit the ground. How do you score that? Well, if, you, it wasn't even by opinion? anybody, so therefore I'm going to call him that a hit. Well, I mean, it wasn't even – it should have been an error on short and second base. Yeah. It was on that side. We're going to give her a single. There you go. So here's Owens to bat. Two out. Ball in the dirt. Owens did a great job last time. See if she can hit it again in the outfield. Base hit. So 10-1, Lady Jackets up. Top of the third inning. Doing some damage here by the long ball today. Ball hit hard to center field. It's going to get down. She just stopped. She gave up on it. Teams would have dove if she had to, but wow. I, I'm, even their fans are saying not hustling. I, I'm just shocked why she did not run after that ball. So we got to make him pay with two outs. we got to run as a first and second. Morris is batting right now. Yeah, good job of hitting right there by Owens. Annalee Morris, the batter. Williams steps into the on-deck circle. And the dirt gets by the catcher. There goes the runners, the second and third. So a base hit will score two. Yeah, catcher just missed that one completely. That's a green right here. So Annalee Morris, the batter. The pitch. Rise ball, and it's a ball. I'd like to thank John Purser Allstate, Day Chevrolet, Family Savings Credit Union, TNT Insulation, and Chick-fil-A. Bringing this broadcast to everyone today. Hoping it's going to be a short game. That's a high pitch. Ball three. I wonder if they have another pitcher. They warmed up another one, but as far as... You go with your best, the first one, no matter right, what. Exactly. That's my that's my thought. Here's the pitch. Call strike right down the middle. She wanted it, but she couldn't take it because coach said don't do it. Uh, I'm trying to remember which number it was they warmed up. 372. Yeah, exactly. So three balls, one strike to Anna Lee. Ball hit hard. Oh, but snagged by the second baseman. There's an athlete out there at second base, I guarantee you. Heck of a play to stop two runs from coming in. But Rockmart has 10 on the board to the Lady Indians 1. We'll be right back going to the bottom of the third. At Family Savings Credit Union, we understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Need a loan? Just fill out an online application and get back to the game without missing a minute of action. We know what matters to you because we're a family. We understand how important your time is. So we make managing your money fast, easy, and convenient. Go to FamilySavingsCU.com, call, or stop by any Family Savings Credit Union location to get started today. Federally insured by NCUA, Equal Opportunity Lender. Whether you are a builder, renovator, or homeowner, you want to be offered and educated with the latest codes and innovations for keeping your home more efficient. TNT Insulation can blow you away with dynamite service and dynamite prices. Call today at 770-684-1887 or go see them at 562 P Ridge Road in Rockmark. Hi, we're back here at Lumpkin County, Rockmark Leeds. Uh, ten to one over the Lady Indians in the first game of two. Going to be English Johnson and Graham up for the Lady Indians. Leading off the bottom of the third, number thirty-three, Lauren English. Here comes the pitch. Fouls that one behind us here. Oh. Waiting on the ball. Got to come in from the defensive team. So Lady Jackets. Oh, wow! And uh, was that? 
Mm. We're not even going to say who that was. She threw it into the pole. <laughs> wow. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say it was a coach's daughter. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going there. <laughs> She's trying to throw it on the field and hit through it right. That, right into that, the pole. That's a little high. He didn't call him strikes on the other one, so that's he's consistent. So one ball, one strike after the foul ball and the ball. The pitch is hit down third baseline. Wolf snags it on her knees, throws it from her knees, and makes the out. Proud dad gives her a golf clap. That's great. That's wonderful. That was a heck of a play there. Yep, diving diving back to her left, snagged it if through was, from her knees. If she was eight years old, we bought her a Sunday afterwards, but she's not anymore. <laughs> so now you got to buy her a new car. Yeah, right. Next batter steps in with one out. Pitch. Hit toward left center, and here comes. There's a diving. It pops out of her glove. She's up there for this uh, who is out there? That's Anna Lee Morris, I'm sorry. Yeah, Morris, she well, dove, snow coned it, but when the glove hit the ground, it popped out. I just couldn't see. I can't see the number anyway, so you're good. Yeah, great effort right there by Morris. And, you know, that's, she, that's she not there. That was a no, big no, 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 no. She doesn't have a right to be mad at herself. Yeah. She made a great diving play. She just mad because it was in the glove and popped out. The ball's a little low. She's still throwing inside, Register is. Good pitching right now. See if she can continue that. So Here's the pitch. The... That was inside and fouled down left field out of play. This is the pitcher, Amy Graham. It's a one out. Bottom of the third inning. Lady Jackets lead 10-1. to And here comes the pitch. Beautiful pitch. Just a tad low, but good location. Yeah, I like that pitch all day long. You know, good pitch to throw early in the count when the count's even. Two balls, one strike. Ball hits the right field, up in the air. It's going to get down. She's going to make She's throw. throw to second, but not in time. It gets by, but you got Morris out there to yeah, catch. Yeah, that's great. That First base great runner count. didn't know if she could run or not. And uh, she had to hold for a long time. Yeah, that was just a little blooper. Not really expected to be called out there, but good try by Johnson as she tried to get the runner at second. I'm going have a, I have a pinch runner. Number five, whoever that might be. Number five is Sydney Moore. Right on time. All right, so right now we got one out. Uh, runners at first and second for the Lady Indians. And the tall player is up to bat. This is Haley Voyle, the right fielder. Ball inside. They're backing way off that plate. Yeah. Her foot is out of the box, Robert. <laughs> But as long as it's in the box, when right, right now she goes in, right. fouls that one right side, out of play. But she definitely opened up yeah. and uh, back off the plate. I've seen about three of them do that now. They're, they're way open, and then they come back in. Yeah. So one out, runner on first and second. One ball, one strike. Here's the pitch. Beautiful inside of the knee. Strike two. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. I mean, you couldn't paint it better than that. Nope. Batter don't like it, but that's a perfect pitch right there. And here's the one-two pitch. Oh, just a little bit too far inside, but that was great location. Beautiful yeah. location. That's uh, that's one that, you know, make the batter think, hey, I got to swing at this one because the last one was a call to strike. Exactly, exactly. Two balls, two strikes, and here's the pitch. Inside again. Don't want to lose her here now. Go ahead and bring it on the plate. Let her hit it. Yeah, we got a nine-run lead right here. We don't, don't need to walk anybody. Just keep it low. Let her hit it. And here comes the payoff pitch. 
Oh, she brings that high. She fouls that one off. Yeah, that was definitely ball four. So full count, one out, runner on first and second. Yeah, here comes the pitch. Right up the middle. It's going to be. Oh, oh bounced right over ball. her glove, Arnold's glove. They, she can't score, though, because teams got to it really quick. Yeah, that ball took a nasty hop right as she dove. Yeah, she was right diving. She dove at it. And, uh, you know, I'd like to see her play through that one. Yeah. Instead of going to the ground. I think she was thinking double play. We just need an out right now. So, once again, there's one out with bases loaded for the Lady Indian. Ten to one, Rockmart lead. Here's the pitch. A little bit inside. Yeah, looking for an out. You know, even if it's a fly ball that gives up that one run. We we got a nine-run lead. So, you know, right now we're playing for out. Correct. Right, she's ready. Here comes the pitch. Tall strike right at the letters of the inside. You know, when, when you see them turn that shoulder and the umpire call strike, you know they're not seeing that inside pitch. So that was a good strike. And the pitch. Fouls that one off right side. Out of play. So it's one ball, two strikes, one out. Base is loaded. And they, somebody just threw that ball all the way to the other side. Had to touch it, make sure it didn't have any, or umpire had to look at it, make sure it didn't have any COVID on it. Yeah, I, I don't think it did. It didn't look like it. I'm sure it did. Up here in the mountains, I don't see any masks anywhere, so it must be healthy air up here. I like it. One ball, two strikes. Make a strike out. Oh, great location right there. But that was a little low. Beautiful pitch. Yeah. I, I think she was actually heading back to the dugout there a little I, bit. I agree. Two balls, two strikes. Throw this one, Pastor Kid. Don't give her one more ball. Here comes the pitch. There Strike is. three. That's going to be a Lewis Motor. Lewis Motor strike out. Sorry, I lost my. It's all right. Beautiful right on the inside of the knees. Just almost the same spot as the last one, just a little bit higher. Yep. So now there's two outs. Bases loaded. Ten to one lead for Rockmart at the bottom of the third. Trying to get out of this right here. Yeah, if we can get out of this one, man, it's going to be good. Beautiful pitch right down the middle by Register. Strike yeah, I, one. I love Register working both corners, inside, outside. I mean, she's working both of them to perfection. Way hey. outside this time. A little bit low. I sometimes wonder when Zori goes that far outside if they're trying to get the batter's attention and come back inside because how many times this year have we seen Zori go way out and the ball come way we're back just, in? We're just going to go with that. Yeah, I'm just thinking maybe. Maybe. Here comes the pitch. It's a little bit too far inside. It hit her spot where Zori went, where she wanted it. but uh, So two balls, one strike. Now you got to come out of right here. Yeah, let's see if we can get a ground ball. we got any bag. All we got to do is touch one. Our fly ball be great. Stop the ball from getting to the infield. Here's the pitch. Call strike inside corner. Right at the knees. Absolutely gorgeous pitch. I know you two, two say that a lot, but I'll tell you yeah, it is. It is. Two two to the first baseman pulley. I hope she don't pull one right here. No. no. Yeah, that's pretty good out there. Yeah. Let's go. Ball hit hard to oh, that's gonna be trouble. Johnson's underneath Johnson. it though for right field. She gets it. It just hung up there. It did. Yeah, so that's going to be out number three. They do not score. Rockmart leads 10-1. to 1. We're going to the top of the fourth. Be right back. WZOT Rockmart, W270CE Rome. 41,475 residents of Polk County, Georgia. Approximately 25,000 registered voters in Polk County. One chance to help change Polk County. My name is Jody Bentley Smith and I am running for Polk County Commissioner District 2. As a lifelong resident of Polk County, I am proud to say that I have a small business here and along with my husband Donnie, we are raising fifth generation cattle farmers. Please allow me to be your voice. 
for not only District 2, but for all of Hope County by voting for me, Jody Bentley Smith, on November 3rd, 2020. This has been a paid political announcement paid for by the candidate. So I stopped in at Chick-fil-A for lunch and saw Officer Wilson come in. I decided to place a dine-in mobile order and have a cookie delivered to him just to show appreciation for his service for our community. A few minutes later, I noticed that Officer Wilson had gotten up and left, and I knew he hadn't gotten his cookie yet. And I'm headed to my car. I turn around and I see Allie, and she's running after me. Mr. Police Officer, Mr. Police Officer. <laughs> Usually when someone yells, Officer, Officer, they want to ask me about a ticket they got. Oh, I absolutely wanted the cookie. <laughs> this cookie is delicious. <laughs> All right, we're heading into the top of the fourth. Rob Martin leads 10-1 to 1 up here in Lumpkin County. As the assistant coach said, God's country. It is gorgeous here as the sun's trying to start to go down. It's a beautiful, beautiful campus. The air is so fresh up here. Uh, Zoe Williams, Alexis Teams, and Gracie on the first three batter. And Williams is in the box now, ready for the pitch. A little bit outside. It looked good from here, but it is outside. But I tell you, she has I had a hard time for me to hold off on that one. Well, she may have been taken anyway. Right. That'd be pretty easy then if you're taking. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the pitch. Swing straight to shortstop. She comes up with it. Going to make the play at first. Not in time. Goes by her. She's going to second base. The catcher throws it to second. Not in time. So she's going to be safe at second on an error uh, by the shortstop to first yeah that was a shortstop has a gun out there and had time but she just rushed it a little bit and overthrew the first baseman great job by Lumpkin County's catcher right there for being down the line to back that up and darn near almost picked her off at second base it sure did it was like a throw by catcher I'm going to see a courtesy runner it's going to be Anna Suits for our catcher but here's the thing she can bunt down first baseline or down third baseline and get on oh yeah Without so I, I think I'd go down first baseline. Now running number 24 and just don't get it to second. That's going to bring up our leadoff center fielder, number nine, Alexis Teams. So I'll get my game changer situated here, get our courtesy runner installed. This is the pitch. Ball outside the high. Good thing about this pitcher is I have plenty of time to catch up my game changer in between pitches. So that is true. And now I look at the team. She's way back in the box. If she swings there, she's going to hit the catcher. Yeah, she's, she's going to move forward. Yeah, she's going to go for a slap. Here's the pitch in the dirt. Uh, ball two. She's got in mind what she wants to do here with a runner on second. So, you know, you see her changing it up a little bit. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Ball three. High and outside. Yeah, and I agree. You, you, and can't, you can't give her that one. Coach, Coach and Lambert is uh, not happy, but I I have to agree with it. Lumpkin? Yeah. Here's the pitch. Ball four. It's going to walk her down to first. That's outside and high again, so now you got Arnold coming up that hit the home run earlier. Yep, that's a totally bronze walk. As she walks down there, she can get totally bronze. She, 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 and I think she has. <laughs> she, she's got a tan. Look at her. So that's going to bring up Arnold. She's homered today. Single shot, grounded out, and walked. Here comes the pitch. High ball one. I'm missing my rocky chair. Well, we can get it for you. <laughs> I don't think it'll fit. You should have brought a cushion. I brought my cushion with me. It always goes everywhere I go. <laughs> Here's the pitch. I hit hard down third baseline, but foul just by about one foot. She got on top of that one and hit it down. Yeah, she rolled over the top of that one. So 1-1, one, one, ball comes back in. Is that the bat that uh, Sam's using, too? It is. Hers so, is still somewhere in California. Sam might be taking away some of her hits on that. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Didn't take away that home run, though, did she? Uh-uh. All right, one ball, one strike. Here we go. Hit hard to short. Down for glove. It's going to get by. And here comes uh, Soros in to score. Oh, no, that's – yeah, no, that's the 
That's uh, suit. That's right, suit. She went in yep. for. Yep. So now we got runners at second, first and second. Another RBI there. Just took a heck of a bounce down there. Third went out third base and glove in the outfield. So we've definitely got speed on the bases. Eleven to one. That's gonna bring up Wolf as we got teams on second. How many outs we got? Arnold on first and zero. Zero outs. Eleven to one's your score. Top of the fourth inning. And the pitch hit hard to center field, left center. It's just another long. She fly does off. catch it. She's gonna make a throw to third, but not even close. I really didn't think she was gonna get to that one. I'll be honest with you. So, but she hit it underneath it enough to where she can move over and catch it for out number one. But that does advance our runner to the third. Kind of wish Arnold would have went to second when she threw it to third, but yeah, that's okay. Yeah, gotta be careful with that just in case that yeah. short stop cuts it real quick. So runners on first and third registers your batter. Nothing you can really do there either because you got to wait for the catch. Got to wait. So yeah. you can't get a secondary lead or nothing. But we could see her go right here. Sure. We did earlier. One out. 11 to 1. Here's the pitch. That's the changeup caught right down the middle for a strike. Yeah, and that's a uh, odd pitch selection there with the runner on first and third to throw a changeup right off the bat. Too bad we weren't going on that one. Yeah. And the pitch. Change up again. She just hacks at it instead of going for it. So strike two. We'll erase, the video. We'll erase the video on that one. Yeah. <laughs> so O two. Not her best moment in, at, at the swing there. O two. Just one out. Pitcher is finally ready. Hits it to right field goal. The second baseman's going to come up with it and make the catch. Everybody has to stay home where they're at, yep, at first and third. Shallow pop up there to the second base. Doesn't get the job done. That's going to bring up Megan Johnson, who homered last time. As a catcher from Lady Indians comes out and gives her infield the call. We know with two outs that she's going to throw that thing, and she has a fantastic arm. Hey, Reeve, he's parked. Let's see if Johnson can settle in here again and give another ride. All right, so now we're ready to go, I believe. Yep, here we go. Oh, that's the one she wanted. Strike one right over the middle change up. Well, I think uh, Coach Luke has probably told him you know, to, to be a little more patient as we were that first couple of at bats. Catcher steps out, gives the infield the first and third call right here. This play is they're coming home with it. And the pitch finally. Outside, low, ball. Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. 11-1 lead, fourth inning. I don't know how risky I'd, I'd be doing anything, uh, you know, just for health life. You know what I mean? True. Sure. Don't force anything that's not absolutely necessary right now that, you know, but could possibly. 12-1 to one is better than 11-1. to one. Oh, I agree. As long as everybody's healthy. See, I didn't, I didn't put that <laughs> into play. So here's Johnson at the 1-1. Oh. Ball outside. She can't reach that one, so it's two balls, one strike. Steps back in. And the pitcher's ready. Here's the pitch. Ball hit hard to shortstop. Backhands it. Makes the throw at first. Gets by her. That's going to go. Arnold's coming to third. And uh, that's going to be another RBI. It's going to be an error by the shortstop. Another, another throwing error there. That one, that ball almost bounced up and went over the fence over there. A lot of this is frustration right now. They're, yeah. they're down by so much and they're frustrated. I agree. Uh, so now we got first and third again. You know, looking back at, at their scores, I don't think anyone's put up 12 on them this year. No, that I can remember when I when I looked through their scores earlier. 
call strike right down the middle. Now this this is a commentator only. This is one of those things that this is where I put in the freshman here to let her bat. She's been hitting the ball good. Nothing against Sarah Beth. Love her to death. But get them get them some action yeah. here in the playoffs. While you're already that far ahead. Yeah. Ball hit hard to shortstop. She backhands that again. She's gonna make the throw to first. And that's a good throw for out number three. So we do score, so it's twelve to one. Rotmarsh lead going to the bottom of the fourth. We'll be right back. Hi folks, this is your old buddy Bill Sherpsey, GM of All Star Motors Rockmart. The friendly staff at All Star is ready and willing to serve you. Good, bad, or even no credit, no problem. Your job is your credit. We do offer guaranteed credit approval. Check out our online credit approval at www.allstarmotorco.com. We even have an on-site insurance agent. We're not just your run-of-the-mill fly-by-night dealership. We're All-Star Motors, where every day is an all-star day. Remember, we have that unforgettable number, 770-684-CARS. Wings Plus at 808 West Elm Street in Rock Mart offers incredible taste of the South with chicken and waffles, shrimp and grits, gizzards, ribs, and pork chops. We have fish dinners with tilapia, whiting, and that Southern classic catfish. That's Wings Plus at 808 West Elm Street in Rock Mart, located in the old Huddle House location. Call them at 678-685-4880. They're open from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. every day. Wings Plus, come and see what the fuss is about. All right, we're back here in Lumpkin County where Rock Mart Lady Jackets take a 12 to 1 lead going to the bottom of the fourth. And uh, we just need to get some outs right here. Yeah, that's going to bring up their 8 9 1 batter, Jones, Temples, and Sparks. Here comes the pitch right up the middle for a base hit. One pitch, one hit. They definitely got some hitters on this. Lumpkin County team. Yeah, when I made that call of Jones, Temple, and Sparks, almost sounded like an attorney office there, didn't it? Uh, Come see Jones, Temple, and Sparks. Yeah, exactly. That's like Scooter says, Come see us! Come see us. So that's going to bring in a runner. It's going to be a pinch runner. Can't see her 23, but I don't have a 23 list. So. Here comes the pitch. Fouls that one over there, Doug, out of play. She was way late on that one. 13, maybe? I think I ought to. 13. Some of those balls I have to throw in the umpire has to check. I think I'm going to sign some of those. Put my name on there. That'd be all right. There you go, yeah. Give an autograph. Yeah. Ball in the dirt. Hits the player on one bounce. That's not what we want to have happen. This is where I like to see the catcher go out and talk to her for a second and say, we're good. Don't worry about a thing, man. And looky here, right on call. Yeah, there you go. There goes the catcher out there to talk to her. It's exactly what you do. Well, we got a moment. I like to thank Harrelson Turn Mountain Pest Control, All Star Motors, Buy Low True Value Hardware, Century Bank, Alvis Miller and Son Funeral Home, Cotton Splinter, Silver Comet Furniture, Tilly's Home Furnishing, and Wings Plus. Going to bring us back to the top of the lineup for the Lady Indians. Going to be Haley Sparks. And here comes the pitch. High and outside. So nobody out, like you said. Runners the first and second. We just got to get him out here. Yeah, Jones reached on a single. And Temples was hit by the pitch. Right back at us. I moved down the way. You just stood still. Good umpire. <laughs> Good umpire. So one ball, one strike, nobody out. I think you were looking down, too, no, by the way. Oh, so, yeah. of course I was. I miss most of the game. <laughs> I'm either riding or on game chain. A little bit outside. Good location, but good call by Blue. Want to see if she'd go after that one. Two balls, one strike. But now we, we don't want to get behind on the count. We need to go ahead and tie it up right here. Yep. A little bit high. A little bit high out of the ball. See, when you got that 11-run 11 11 lead, you just go ahead and throw it in there. Oh, exactly. We won't get ahead of the count and then then do you want. Yep. Three one, here's the pitch. Tall strike on the outside corner. That's where she wanted to go with the last one. That's full count. Right, 
And the pitch. A little bit outside and low. So that's going to walk. So in case you're just joining us, the Lady Jackets lead 12-1. to Bottom of the fourth inning. Got a timeout here by Coach Luke. So we're going to take 30 seconds and be right back. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. I'm Barry Williams, Athletic Director at Rockmore High School, and I would like to thank our Booster Club, sponsors, and community for supporting Rockmore High School Athletics. Go Jackets! Right, Coach Luke heads back to the dugout. 12 1 lead for Rockmart. The base is loaded. Nobody out for the Lady Indian. Yes, she grounded out to Sam last time at third base. One she dove for there. Base is loaded. Nobody out. Pitch is a little bit outside. Ball one. I think I said Coach Luke probably not. It's just those strikes right now. We got to we gotta let them hit. Let the fielders do their job. Here's the pitch. Up in the air. High up. Owens is going back. Johnson's going to be foul yeah, territory. He catches it. Well, they don't and they're not even paying attention, so I'm glad because they didn't go. So that's out number one. Johnson makes a great snag on the um, out of bounds line. Foul territory. Yeah, shot. They didn't. They didn't tag up right there, but we'll take it. One out. Base is still loaded. One down. And here comes the pitch. A little bit inside. Is this a shortstop? Oh, no. It is. What is it? And the pitch. Fouls that one out right, out of, right side, out of play. This is Emma Johnson. I'm telling you, I hope you brought a lot of balls. You better be sending somebody after them. I was going to say, who's, who's chasing? Academy open right now? <laughs> How far away is that? I don't know. I didn't pass one on the way it's up It's just here. down the mountain. <laughs> Here's the pitch. A little bit low. Two balls, one strike. She didn't like that ball. Yeah, I know a lot of some folks, they, they went down and picked up 285 in Atlanta and come up 400. I know you and I came up. The scenic route through. We uh, did. It was very Highway peaceful. 20, Alaska. I didn't even have the radio on. No. I had the window down. I laid. No, I didn't nice have that because I was driving. <laughs> nice and shaded ride, wasn't it? It was. It was Two beautiful. balls, one strike. There's the pitch. Hit towards second. Going to first with it. There's one out. We give up a run. That's okay. I mean, there's two outs now. You get the easy out. So it's 12 to 2. Here comes Amos. Here comes Amos. Now, number two. I had her as Amy, but she wants to be Amos. We'll call I gotta, her Amy. I got to tell you something about this weekend here in a minute after we get Uh-oh. to this batter. Here comes the pitch. That's high. I was doing a softball tournament in Mount Zion, and they kept playing a playoff song for the girls. And the girl kept striking out. The next batter would be, um, uh, <laughs> hold on, here's the pitch. Inside ball, um, Queen. Uh, oh, God, I went brain dead all of a sudden. No. Do that a lot. I'll, I think of, I'll think of the song here in a minute. 2 0. That ball fouled back. Another one bites the dust, mate. Yeah, another one bites the dust. <laughs> I don't know if it's Queen, but yes, it's exactly what it is. Another one bites the dust. And I walked up to him the third time. I said, Why are you doing that? He says it's more of an inside joke now because all season has been happening. <laughs> so I think I switched batting lineup. <laughs> so two balls, one strike. Here's the pitch. Outside, three balls, one strike. First base is open, but why give it to her? That's right. 12 2 lead. Go right down the middle, kid. Two out. Here comes the pitch. Up in the air. Register calls them off. And she makes a catch for out number three. So after four, Rockmart leads 12 to 2. We'll be right back. 
Whether you are a builder, renovator, or homeowner, you want to be offered and educated with the latest codes and innovations for keeping your home more efficient. TNT Insulation can blow you away with dynamite service and dynamite prices. Call today at 770-684-1887 or go see them at 562 P Ridge Road in Rockmark. Buy low true value. 308 Nathan Dean Parkway in Rock Mart invites you to come by and watch the inventory grow every day. We're the home of the Garrett Brothers Saw Mill. Our family has been processing and selling our country's greatest renewable resources for over 100 years. Like us on Facebook or give us a call at 770-684-5075. All right. Ten. All right, we're back here at Lumpkin County Softball Stadium in the top of the fifth. Visitors are us, 12. Home is two. So we're up by 10. Yep, we got uh, Matty Owens, Annalee Morris, and Zori Williams is what's due up. We'll see if anything changes. I believe if we hold them here, or we, if we even don't score, we hold them, it should be the ball game. The first first game should be over with. I think so. Ten runs. But just in case, let's score about four. Second game scheduled to start at six. <clears throat> so we're either going to be right on time or... Maybe a little late if, if it does indeed end after the fifth. Because the pitcher took forever to pitch Man, the ball. Yeah, not kidding. And she's not even delaying once she gets going. So here's the pitch. Hit all right back of the pitcher, right off her glove. Nice play by the pitcher. We need to check on that because, wow, that hit her pretty hard. Great recovery right there by the pitcher. So. To gain her composure, pick that ball up and throw Owens out, unfortunately. Said, but yeah, she least, says she's fine. Everybody's all right. Yes. That's the main thing. But Owens is out. <clears throat> That's going to bring up our left fielder, Annalee Morris. So, Morris steps in. Here's the pitch. Call strike right down the pipe. I think you're right. I think they're just looking at the first one now, unless it's so good that they can't hold off of yeah. it. So I might as well let throw some. Now the pitcher's ready. Change up. High ball. Twelve two, top of the fifth, still in the first game. So double header here today in Lumpkin County. That's a little bit high. Ball two. Come set. Here's the pitch. High ball three. Last three pitches in the same spot. Yep, exactly. So three one to Morris. We'll see if Coach Luke gives her the green light here with the twelve two lead. Nobody on ahead of her. And the pitch in the dirt. Ball four. Didn't matter. Nope. Didn't quite make it to the play. Remember, don't be silly. Go see Tilly down at Tilly's Home Furnishing. He's one of our sponsors. Yep, and that was a uh, totally bronze wall. That was a totally bronze wall. That's going to bring up our catcher, Zori Williams. Tell you what, is it? I know you've called every game, uh, and I haven't called every one, but I've seen this young lady grow as a catcher through this year. She's yep. done a great job. Without a doubt. Here's the pitch. Fouled straight back to the screen. Yeah, she came into a spot that, you know, at the end of last year we were expecting to be filled by a junior, and uh, didn't happen. So she had to step up big here, and, and she's done a great job. And the pitch. Oh, she hits, gets under that one. Shortstop's coming in and calling that one off. She's going to get that one this time. She says, I got it. And makes the out for number two. Yeah, we we got to stay focused here because we still got one more game to play. So, you know, got to 
got to stay focused mentally. Yeah, let the lead off better. Uh, most not. definitely. You know, don't don't get too relaxed here and, and just start swinging at bad pitches. So, I don't know what we'll see in the second game, but I would imagine this would have been their number one. Two outs for teams. And the pitch. High. Ball one. Teams just hadn't got a pitch. She's locked all day. No. So what you're trying to say is she's due? She's due if she can get her a pitch that she likes. Here's the pitch. Hits the ball. To the third base, gets right at her glove. But she error. misses it at first. So that's Morris is going to third. She had she actually had plenty of time to get it out, but she didn't know that because uh, how fast teams is. Yeah, exactly. I mean, that, that ball got to her glove, like, quick. Yep, she fielded it nice, like this. So now we got to make him pay for that error right here. It's two outs, 12 to two. I'll we'll have another step out. First, third call by Lumpkin County catcher. Once again, I think it's going to be a play at home, but I don't know why. I'll go ahead. And... Well, I can assure you, I don't think she'll throw teams out. True. She hasn't been thrown out in second this year. No sense right right now, huh? Nope. So here we go there. Change their sign. It's kind of like calling an audible in football, isn't it? Yep. Exactly. All right. So two outs. Here comes the pitch to Arnold. She's rared back, ready to hit it. It's in the dirt. There goes team. She's going to stand up at second. All of that for nothing with a ball in the dirt. Yep. I think Arnold's going to jack this one over left field again. She, look, look at her stance. She's just ready to hit that ball. We'll take it. Yeah. Let me know Sherman Ross, home run. Here comes the pitch. Oh, can't hit those if they're 10 feet above your head. Well, two balls, no strikes. So 2-0, two outs. Top of the fifth, Lady Jackets lead 12 2. A lot of twos in there. Oh, change up. Right down the middle for a strike one, but she didn't want that one. But you know, it's when you can see it, you're going, oh, it's a strike, but yeah, it's all good. Two balls, one strike. Ball hit hard to center field and right at her. So it's going to be out number three, but Rockmark doesn't score, but it's 12 to 2. We'll be right back after this. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. In Rockmart, call Allstate agent John Purser today at 770-684-1328. Silver Comet Furniture, your one-stop shop for all your furniture and bedding needs. We carry brands such as Ashley, Catnapper, Liberty, and Jameson Mattress Company. At Silver Comet Furniture, 678-685-4320, 2000 Cedartown Highway in Fish Creek. All right, here we are back at Lumpkin County. And uh, got a couple of changes to note here. Got Emma Hyman catching, and Kylie Bowman is checked in in left field. And that is all I see. So I was in left field there myself. Yeah, you so. were way out there. I was. <laughs> I was it it sets fixing, off, and I'm going. Oh. I was fixing my lineup. And, we're on the radio. Uh, uh, but anyway, Hyman behind the plate, Bowman in the left field. Those are the only two changes. This is going to be number 27, Haley Voyle. Ball a little bit outside. We need to end this game right here. We need three outs, and that's something we hadn't executed well today, and that's the three up and three down. And the pitch. Swung on and missed. It's a high fastball. 
Tried to pull the bat back, but couldn't. <laughs> and the pitch. Another high. So ball two. Two balls, one strike. The pitch fouls that one straight back, so evens the count up at two and two. Steps up, here comes the pitch. Oh, as a change up, it was high. She didn't go after. She she went after the last one, so now it's a full count. Just bring it in there, kid. Throw it right past her. All right, here I am back. And the pitch. Strike three called. Right down the middle. That's going to be a Lewis Motors strikeout. Good job right there by getting the first one. We can get two more outs before they score a run. I think that's going to end. We'll call this a day on this first game, anyway. As the sun begins to set to our right, eating up the third baseman right now. Here's the pitch. Good thing that third baseman's good, though. You know her. Yeah. Remember the other night she took one off the knee. Well, but sun is definitely bearing down, hitting the shortstop third baseman. And the pitch. Call strike two. So, oh, two right now. This is where you go inside of the knee. Yeah. And then outside. Here comes the pitch. Strike three. Swung on and missed for out number two. Going to be another Lewis Motor strikeout for the second out in the bottom of the fifth inning. Lady Jackets lead 12-2. We just need one out. Now up for the Lady Indians, number 36, Lewis Knight goalie. And the pitch hit hard, but foul oh. by a couple feet, thank goodness, down left side. That one just uh, looked like it was going to be way foul to begin with, and it just kind of hung up there. Yep. So 0-1. This inning, she's gotten ahead of the batters, which is good. Here comes the pitch. A little bit high, so one ball, one strike. Yeah, the register's thrown 87 pitches through five innings. So, so getting up there for five innings. And the pitch. Fouls that one off. His outside pitch and uh, nice location. So now it's. One ball, two strikes with two outs. I'm totally guessing here, but I'm I'm guessing he's probably going to start on a pitch in that second game. I'm just guessing. I may be wrong. See a rise ball right here. Here we go. Right down the middle, strike three. Call. Oh, so that's going to be that's another good. Lewis Motor strikeout to end the ball game. I think that is. Yep. And that does end the ball game. So. That's going to be uh, the first game is in the books. The Lady Yellow Jackets win this one 12 to 2. We're going to take two minutes, come back and sign this one off, and then we'll come back for the next doubleheader game. Hey, friends, Jeff Bailey here with Dave's Pre Owned Supercenter in Rockmark. Make sure the next time you're in the market for a car, truck, or SUV, you take the short drive over to Little Old Rockmart and find out what the buzz is all about. You'll be glad you did, and so will your wallet. So come on by and meet our friendly staff, and we'll have you busting bugs in no time. So what are you waiting for? Just give us a call at 770 684 7400 or check us out at daysrockmart.com. And remember, like we always say, today. Is the day. Let's give it up for old asphalt and a new pair of shoes. Let's give it up for a good rhythm meeting a sweet melody. For a church cookout under clear skies. Let's give it up for good things coming together, like bundling your auto and other policies together with an Allstate agent, which can save you time and keep you better protected. Let's give it up for good. In Rockmart, call Allstate agent John Purser today at 770-684-1328. Forty-one thousand four hundred and seventy-five residents of Polk County, Georgia. Approximately twenty-five thousand registered voters in Polk County. 
one chance to help change Polk County. My name is Jody Bentley Smith and I'm running for Polk County Commissioner District 2. As a lifelong resident of Polk County, I'm proud to say that I have a small business here and along with my husband Donnie, we are raising fifth generation cattle farmers. Please allow me to be your voice for not only District 2, but for all of Polk County by voting for me, Jody Bentley Smith, on November 3rd, 2020. This has been a paid political announcement paid for by the candidate. High school where Rockmart Lady Yellow Jackets were victorious first game 12 to 2, and they'll be playing the second of the best two out of three games here in about 15, 20 minutes. But Chris, you got a box score of what we've done today, so yep, let us have it. Lady Jacket scored 12 runs on nine hits with two errors, and Lumpkin County scored two runs on six hits with six errors. Emily Register pitched five innings, had six hits, one earned run, one walk, and eight strikeouts. Yeah, it was, it, it was like we said at the very beginning, we needed to get off quick, and we did the first inning, and we did very well, and... uh you know, they kept hitting. I mean, two two home runs, and uh, just we made contact, Chris. That was what the name of the game was here. Yep. And, and, uh, and Register was pitching lights out. Yep. And we'll see what it goes with the second game here. Of course, you know, uh, either way we go, we're going to be playing hard and try to finish it up here tonight and not have to come back. All right. I think we'll be home this game here, I believe. I think so. I think, I think that's the way it works. But uh, we definitely don't want to have to come back tomorrow night, but we know for sure – that we will if we do lose this game. So we, we got the first one in. That was the most important one. Now this is huge. So, Brian, we're going to send it back to you uh, for about 15, 20 minutes. We'll let you know when the umpires are about ready to go, and uh, we'll pick it right back up with a free game. 41,475 residents of Polk County, Georgia. Approximately 25,000 registered voters in Polk County. One chance to help change Polk County. My name is Jody Bentley Smith, and I'm running for Polk County Commissioner Seat District 2. As a lifelong resident of Polk County, I'm proud to say that I have a small business here, and along with my husband, Donnie, we are raising fifth generation cattle farmers. Most people of Polk County today face the balancing act of aging parents, children, and a hectic work schedule, all the while wanting a better community for their families. We want a place to be proud to call home. I believe that I can help Polk County move to this goal. Please allow me to be your voice for not only District 2, but for all of Polk County by voting for me, Jody Bentley Smith, on November 3rd, 2020. This has been a paid political announcement paid for by the candidate. Are you aware that untreated wood is highly susceptible to termite damage? Are you bothered by other pesky insects like bed bugs, ants, roaches, wasps, and hornets? Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control for an inspection. They have the experience to handle your pest control needs. Call Harrelson Termite and Pest Control today to schedule an appointment. By Low True Value, 308 Nathan Dean Parkway in Rock Mart invites you to come by and watch the inventory grow every day. We're the home of the Garrett Brothers Saw Mill. Our family has been processing and selling our country's greatest renewable resources for over 100 years. Like us on Facebook or give us a call at 770-684-5075. 